Hey, what is up guys? Skylar here from The Cow, and today we have a very exciting video. If you haven't read the title and you didn't see the thumbnail, well, what are you doing? Uh, so today we're going to be taking a look at my controller, the Cow controller. Uh, exactly two years ago today, I unboxed this and was amazed by how Controller Chaos did this, and still to this day, I am very impressed with their quality, so... If you're looking for a custom controller and you have a little cash to spare, um, a very good website. I'm not, this is not a sponsored video, neither was the other one. Just throwing it out there, they're a very good company for um, controllers. So, let's just get right into this. So, uh, here's the controller. Now, if you uh, haven't noticed, I've made a, f a few adjustments to it. Uh, this and this came with the controller when I first unboxed it. Uh, and the shell, I, I haven't changed the shell whatsoever. I love it. I don't want to change it whatsoever. It's perfect. So, uh, the first thing is the start button. It used to be just the stock um, gray one. That comes with the regular GameCube controller. So I got a whole button set um, from Battle Beaver, uh, which came with this and the C stick, which was also the stock yellow. And uh, I just got those two in the pack so that they could be the matte and not this glossy. Because, I don't know, I just like those matte instead of the gloss finish, I guess. Um, the buttons. Uh, I've switched out the buttons to the Battle Beaver type where it's clear at the top and in the actual button itself it has the black so it'll match the, uh, match the color scheme better instead of the, uh, the red and the um, green. I don't know. And then I put the my cow logo. Hold on, let's see. Focus. Uh, there you go. So I put the cap, my cow logo in the A button just because it was the biggest button and it's the easiest to see it in. Uh, really, really love that detail. So yeah, that's the front, the front face of it. Now let's go over the back. So the back, I have the exact same screws as what it came with. Uh, I got, oh, these and the Z trigger came with the C stick and the start button so that they're all matte. Um, so I, I liked these instead of the original gray because I feel like black would go um, with the color scheme of the white because gray on white doesn't really look as um, good, I guess. And then my Z trigger is also black. And if you can hear, uh, my friend, who I will not name, he actually installed a tactile Z in the, this is the same board um, he actually installed a tactile Z button for me because I requested him to, so thank you for that. Uh, if you're watching this video. Um, yeah, so over the two years I've had this controller, I have loved it. I bring it to my uh, Melee and Ultimate tournaments. Um, the cord is the cord that you would get with the white Japanese GameCube uh, Smash 4 GameCube controller because this is before it Ultimate came out and on the end of my port I have two little um, gems charms so one is Sonic you know because Sonic's my main and I have a <clears throat> Mega Mega Evolved um, Mewtwo because he is actually my secondary main. So uh, I just like these because 
uh, they show like who my main is and shows a little more of a personality of my controller. And this, uh, the port input is just the same as it came with. So over the two years that I have had this controller, nothing has bothered me. The quality has gotten nothing but better, if you ask me, because of all the stuff I've added. Um, the paint has shown nowhere whatsoever. These screws, I have unscrewed these multiple times to add stuff. It held up very well. <clears throat> the controller feels amazing. The finish they put on this is amazing. Thank you again, Controller Chaos. And as for the buttons, these things, can you can't get better. If you want the mat, that's an option, uh, seen as here and here. And if you want the gloss, you can get them on the uh, face buttons, which I did. And I kept this gloss because I, I, it shows a uh, little bit of more creativity. And I don't really use the D-pad that often anyway. Um, and nothing, nothing has been wrong. This controller has held up very, very well. So, I will leave a link to Controller Chaos's um, website um, if you want to pick up a controller and if you uh, want to go to Battle Beaver Customs to pick up some buttons, you can also do that as well. Um, if you couldn't tell, my name's right there. It's pretty cool. Um, I think that's about it. So. Thank you all so much for watching. Please remember to comment, like, and subscribe on this video. And stay tuned for more unboxings, updates, sometimes walkthroughs. And I will see you in the next video. Peace.